if, look what happens to the woman, Nashim Datan Kalalihem. But that didn't even occur to me. I read this story. I, I came to Masechet Shabbat right at the beginning of my maternity leave after I had twins four years ago. And, um, and for me, that was very much a story of, you know, um, well, really intimate bonding with a child, right? Because I was, it was a time in my life when I was holed up at home. I wore the same clothes day after day. It was basically buried up to my neck in sand, right? Caught up in an endless cycle of breastfeeding one girl, breastfeeding the other, changing one diaper, changing the other, then feeding one girl, then feeding the other, really like no breaks. Um, and on those rare occasions when I managed to pack up the girls in the double stroller and go out for a walk, I also felt that same thing, like I'd see people rushing to get to work or catch a bus, and I'd think to myself, what are they doing? Like, what could be so important, right? And I'd, I'd come back home, and I'd, I'd rest the girls, you know, beside me, and I would look at them, and I would quote what Rabbi Shimon says to his son, like, Daila olam aniba atat, like, the two of you are, are enough to constitute my world. Like, I, for me, that story is, that, that is what that story is about. It's a story about, about maternal bonding. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. so. 